you. Here in the metro, a home in Midwest City is damaged by a tree that was uprooted by these storms. News 9's Chris Gilmore continues our team coverage there. Chris? Good morning. You can see the tree right here, all left over from those heavy rains that pounded Midwest City last night and into this morning. This is a neighborhood near Post and Reno. And as I mentioned, that super saturating rain got into the front lawn here, making this ground very soft and a uh, very bad place to be in if you want to make sure that your house doesn't get damaged by something like this. We did speak to the resident who lives here, and she says that she was actually at home at the time folding her laundry and luckily uninjured and her pets and children are luckily okay as well. well. I have a crack going through my ceiling where water is just pouring down and um, the branches came through the attic and over the bathroom and over my neighbor's fencing but um, there's like four rafters broke in the attic right now. Again, there was still rain pouring down this morning here in this neighborhood. The lawn is still very soft. Luckily, Red Cross was here last night, according to the resident we spoke to, and she says that they were able to give her any help that they could, but there still is a long road of renovation and repair left to be done here on this home. Reporting live in Midwest City, Chris Gilmore, News 9. Chris, thanks so much. Metro firefighters rescue a man in the city last night after his car ended up in a creek during the storms. It happened on Lake Hefner Parkway, south of Hefner Road. The man had to get on top of the car because the car was filling up with water. Firefighters pulled him to safety with the rope. His car was swept away moments later. And a home in Grady County suffered a lot of damage at the hands of a tornado. We were watching that tornado live here with David Payne last night. It was near Amber. The carport was lifted from the front of the home. Winds took off parts of the home's roof. A chicken coop that was in the back of the house was taken away by the winds and it killed most of the homeowner chickens. Despite that damage, there were no personal injuries in that storm. Traffic alert for you. Let's go ahead and check in with our Bill Fig Newton. He's out on the roadways this morning. Bill, how are drivers doing? Uh, good morning. Well, they're doing pretty good, actually, considering the con road conditions we have out here this morning. Uh, we have an accident showing up at uh, I-44 Northwest 10th that I'm going to go check out now to see if there's, uh, there's unknown injuries there, so I'm going to be checking that one. Uh, there was one supposed to be at Britain Road and uh, uh, Broadway Extension. That one I did not find. I did not see anything there. And the one down at I-44 and 144th Street, or 104th Street, excuse me, she'll be clearing up about now. So I'll get this one checked out and let you know what's going on. Back to you. All right, thanks a lot, Fig. And we have made it very easy to stay up to date on severe weather. Download the News 9 app. Make sure to opt in to the push notifications, and we will stream there live. If the power ever goes out, you can watch it right there on your phone or your tablet. The state Senate passes a bill that would allow anyone over the age of 21 without a felony conviction to carry a gun without a license. It's called constitutional carry. Allie Brooks is at the alert desk with more on this vote. Allie? Well, Senate Bill 1212 is one step closer to becoming law as it moves to Governor Fallon's desk for her signature. This bill lets anyone over the age of 21 carry a gun for self-defense without having to get the government-required license. It was passed by the State House on April 25th and has fueled controversy as some oppose it, saying it would remove background checks required to purchase a firearm. Supporters, though, say the bill is about law-abiding citizens being able to defend themselves themselves without the government's permission. It passed the state Senate late last night by a vote of 33 to 9. If signed by Governor Fallon, Oklahoma would become the 14th state not to require a license to carry a handgun. From the alert desk, Allie Brooks, News 9. Allie, thanks so much. More news from the state capitol. Another controversial bill is a step closer to becoming law. Our Grant Herms joins us now with that bill and why teachers are calling it retaliation for the walkout. Grant? Well, that bill is Senate Bill 1150, and originally it was supposed to protect kids kids from abuse and neglect, but it was gutted and then changed to target teachers here in the final days of session. The new version of the bill eliminates payroll deductions for public employee groups or union membership dues and requires each school district to hold an election every five years to determine if an organization will keep bargaining rights at the Capitol. Because of voter turnout in those elections is usually pretty low, it essentially ensures that teachers groups will lose their bargaining rights. OEA says the bill is a direct response to the teacher walkout from angry lawmakers. When teachers stood up, had a voice, forced their hand to fund education, this is literally a retaliation bill against teachers and a teacher's voice. 
Well, the bill does have to go back to the House because it was amended in the Senate. Lawmakers are hoping to end session tomorrow, so right now it's unclear if this makes it to a vote today. As of this morning, it is not on the House agenda. Live in the newsroom, Grant Herms, News 9. Grant, thank you. Let's go ahead and check back in with Jed Castles. Jed, we have a lot of folks getting ready to head out to school this morning. We got a lot of rain moving in across parts of the state. Guys, here about 30 minutes to about an hour ago, you know, we didn't have a whole lot of severe weather overnight, and all of a sudden something changed and it ramped up fast, and the weather service has gone ahead and put out a severe thunderstorm watch in effect right after that quick pulse of severe weather. But since that time, we've kind of been trailing back off, so it kind of pulsed there for a while. It's come back down. We'll see if we can't get another pulse here coming up this morning. But for right now, there's only one severe storm. It's this little triangled area right here down in southern parts of Oklahoma. Severe thunderstorm watch that will take you through 11 o'clock this morning as storms race eastward quickly about 60 miles per hour. They'll be moving fast here today. Here's a view on Next Gen Live. There's your times of arrival. Robin has drawn this, the line and shows the motion. There. What do you have the motion on that, Robin? Yeah, what do you have it at? What's the motion you have it at? 60 miles per hour? Yeah. Okay, 60. so there you go. So Billings, 645, Chickasha at 638. Let's see Oklahoma City at 648 is when that arrives. It's coming in right now. Perry at 654, Norman at 707. Let's see here. We've got Chandler at 726, Sulphur 739, Ada at 742. So a lot of towns there, but kind of gives you the times of arrival as this storm line goes from the front, front end at 645 to the back end at 758. All right, there's your storms going on right now. So there you can see areas of rain moving. Let's go ahead and zoom in, Robin, to the storms that are going on in and around Oklahoma City. Not a whole lot of lightning here, but more rain is starting to move in. Let's keep going a little bit further into these areas up around Arcadia and up near uh, Frontier City. So we've got some rain showers there. We work our way down this line down here in the southern parts of the metro. Mustang getting some heavier rain. That's near the Scout Ranch down around Newcastle Casino. Then as we go to the west there, you can see those storms uh, going on a little heavier now. El Reno. Union City, Minko, the motion on those is toward the east here this morning, and they're moving fast, about 60 miles per hour. Let's broaden it back out a little bit more, and we'll take you a bit further south and see where those severe storms are located right now. Going on from Chickasha down to Rush Springs. The severe storms right now run from near Marlowe, Duncan, down to Comanche. If you live in Marlowe, Duncan, or Comanche, stay away from outside walls. This is a mean storm right here, intense for a brief period. It's going to really come down hard and heavy for a while. Then that will start winding down as it moves on by, and the rain chances start to go down a little bit lower there going into the later morning hours. So rain chances continue. Best chance is shifting eastward as we go through the morning hours. The risk of severe weather is going to be winding down as the storm line moves on out by 11 o'clock. We're done. Things will be calming down. Should rebound those highs back up in the 70s and 80s across the state. We're going to check your nine-day forecast and your weekend here in just a few minutes. All right, thanks a lot, Jed. We do have an accident that just popped up. This is right here in the metro on northbound I-44, just near the northwest 10th exit. So this is uh, just north of I-40. You can see the flashing lights and sirens right there. This is impacting traffic mm -hmm. northbound I-44 or eastbound I-44 right at 10th Street. So just be aware of that. No injuries so far. We'll be following that right after the break. A cost-effective education option. I wouldn't expect to make that type of money, and to have that opportunity, is, it's a major blessing. I'm Kelly Ogle. See how students are using career tech to their advantage. Tonight at 10 on News 9. From around the globe, to here at home, Emmy Award-winning journalist Jeff Glor. Now every weeknight. Good evening, I'm Jeff Glor. On the CBS Evening News. RAC went out in the middle of the summer, so we called all comfort specialists. They sent their owners out, replaced the unit, and made financing super easy. I would truly recommend all comfort specialists heating and air to everyone. All comfort specialists. Comfort is what we do. Natural gas clothes dryer and rebates from Oklahoma Natural Gas. 
Experience the difference of a Spartan mower. Spartan not only looks amazing on and off the lawn, it's also packed with standard features like GT Track for precision traction, balance, and control with optional features like radial front tires and an all-new 360 floating seat system for an incredible, comfortable ride. Take command of your yard. Take command of your time. Join the family of one of the fastest-growing mower companies in the world. At Seminole Ford and Lindley Farm Equipment. Papa Murphy's presents a fresh take on fresh. Here's the deal. If it comes from a freezer, not fresh. Box, not fresh. Bag, not fresh. Fresh means just chopped vegetables. Cheese grated by us daily. Fresh means we don't even have ovens. Because you have an oven. So you can feel good about feeding it to your... Aww. Home bake a large taco grande. It's everything you love about a taco. On a pizza. Just $10. Papa Murphy's. Love at 425 degrees. I've been associated with Power Left for over 20 years. Whether it's on Main Street or at the airport, homeowners tell me how much they appreciate their honesty and their quality of work. Call Power Left today and put your home or business back on a firm foundation. Black Friday is back. It's the mother of all sales. Save on cute tops and adorable dresses. And Fitbit trackers. Yep, we said Fitbit. But it ends Saturday. Take an extra $10 off with coupon. JC Penny, style and value for all. RAC went out in the middle of the summer, so we called all comfort specialists. They sent their owners out, replaced the unit, and made financing super easy. I would truly recommend all comfort specialists heating and air to everyone. All comfort specialists, comfort is what we do. This segment of the news is brought to you by Madison Honda. As you're waking up, 645 on our Thursday morning, and we've got a mess down by I-40 and I-44 right at Northwest 10th Street. We've got, there you see at the top from the weather radar, we've got rain moving through. And at Northwest 10th, right off I-44, we have uh, an accident. It does not appear to be an injury, but there you see the backup of what it's doing. So if you're traveling on I-40, that's big shot in the big box in the middle. Uh, it's going to be a mess in that area. So just a heads up if you're heading out. We have more rain moving through. So if you have kids driving to school this morning, you might want them to get out a little early or let it pass through. Just make sure they get there on time. Buckle up, drive safely. Governor Mary Fallon is asking the U.S. Small Business Administration for disaster assistance in Dewey County to help those impacted by those recent wildfires. If it's approved, it would bring low interest disaster loans for homeowners, renters, and business owners. Woodward County would also be eligible for assistance. And Oklahoma's urban search and rescue team is preparing its dogs for the severe weather season. This is pretty fascinating training. During training, yesterday firefighters actually hid under piles of concrete and then the rescue dogs had to find them they scratch that's what they're indicating we found you they say if you ever get trapped and after a disaster don't panic because help is on the way this team is so elite with their handlers and the canines themselves our jesse mitchell actually went and hid in the middle of all those rocks and the dog she was down under there with her cell phone rolling and there was the animal right in there to find her so you bet it is amazing it's not for anyone claustrophobic if you're going to do that that training. is so true hey we have some rain moving through right even in the metro during the morning drive and jed it is causing problems a headache there at i-44 and i-40 right near northwest 10th street and this scene could be playing out across the metro we've got some good pretty good rain coming in yeah another batch of uh, heavy rainfall coming in this shot kind of tells a story you can go to this side of the screen there's not much going on. That's the east sides of Oklahoma City. Go to the west sides. It's the cloud deck lower, that cloud deck lowering. Yeah, that's the next storm line coming in. Rain and storms now tracking into Oklahoma City. So we'll go to the west sides and check that out. That's a live view. Boy, our Air Comfort SkyCam network has been rocking here the last 24 hours, showing you great pictures of the metro. This is a shot from Northwest Expressway. There's the storm clouds right there. Those storm clouds are moving into the picture. So a lot of folks are out on the roadways right now. This uh, rain cloud, this rain storm is going to envelop the Northwest Expressway Hefner Parkway area. So rain comes down, it'll come down heavy. So be prepared for more of that ponding, hydroplaning kind of rainfall that slides on in. Still tracking severe weather, far southern parts of Oklahoma. We're talking from Lawton, Ada, Ardmore, Durant, 
This chance of severe weather will take us through mid morning before that threat starts to wind down. Let's go ahead and check out the view on radar. This is a close up zoom of that heavier rain. I had that shot uh, from right about where my fingertip is at, pointed southbound. Uh, that's uh, looking at those storms there on the south sides of the metro. Heavy storm. Let's zoom in on that one, uh, Robin. As you can see, they're near Oklahoma City. There's downtown. Heaviest weather right now, uh, running right there along the uh, loop there. Uh, near Will Rogers and uh, also the Will Rogers World Airport between there and Valley Brook. Again, no, not much hail being reported with this right now, but again, that cell is developing and tracking. Heaviest storm right now is right there, and there's some lightning with it too. So if you are tracking on or driving on the southwest sides, right there at the loop, right there at I-44, I-240, uh, watching those storms tracking on through. Again, some heavy rainfall coming in right now, moving into more in Valley Brook. This is not severe, but I won't be surprised if it has some small hail in that heavier core there, right there. That's right near our OCCC cam this morning, and uh, that's where we're seeing the heaviest weather right now in the metro. So that's what it looks like there. Let's kind of broaden this back out. We'll take you further to the west, and you can see those storms extend uh, back to the west. The back edge of the line, this is a fast-moving line. It's moving about 60 almost 70 miles per hour. So you can see that line extending from the Kansas border all the way down to the Texas border, and we'll have about two counties worth of rain, and it'll track east, and it's gonna track east and be east of us probably in the next 30 minutes. It will not last long, 60, 65, almost 70 miles per hour is the motion on this back edge. And that's what that dry line, that dry line is punching eastward, and that's punching all the air, the bad uh, stormy air off to the east, and again, that's where we're having the risk of some storms and even severe weather out the door this morning. Heaviest weather is down in south central, southwest Oklahoma. Zooming in on that. Uh, Rush Springs, Marlowe, Bray. Worst storms just passing through Duncan, Comanche, and Marlowe. Boy, it was kind of rocking there for a while. Those storms now shifting east. Could see winds to 60, 65 out of those. So again, rain and storms moving in. Again, we talked about the heavy rain around the metro uh, coming down. You can see what that heavy rain's going to do. It's going to cause some problems. So if you're out on the roadways, avoid the I-40, I-40 or 4 corridor. That's where most of our problems are located. So here in Oklahoma City, rain is moving in. Heaviest storms right now. South sides, more to come as it tracks in over the next 30 minutes. All right, there's your times of arrival on the storm line. I'll be moving into Oklahoma City here, coming in right now. Edmond 658, got Perry at 7 o'clock, Guthrie 704, Ponca City 708, Pawnee at 733, Cushing at 744, Shawnee for you, 738. So the rain's going to be moving on in. Rain and storms continue. Back edge of this line, though, is going to keep shifting east, and it's going to be moving out. And as you can see there, by late morning, the rain is done. By about 9 o'clock, 8, 9 o'clock, the rain should be done for Oklahoma City, all shifting off to the east. So there you go, rain and storms moving out. There could be some additional severe weather today in the eastern part of the state. Right now, the chances of that are low. So we'll keep an eye on that today coming up. As you can see, there's 76 out the door this morning. West winds at 13, humidity at 93% as we have a warm, humid start out there this morning. Temperatures running again in the 60s with some gusty winds and spots. No severe weather here in the metro, but it is stormy starting off between now and 8 o'clock. We'll keep those rain chances at 80%, but they're going to drop off. And once they drop off, warm, hum or warm, dry air comes in, punching in behind that dry line, and our temperatures will shift upward We'll climb as high as the upper 80s in parts of the metro coming up for today. 74 for your Friday. Group, just a gorgeous weekend all the way. Check this out. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Warm daytime highs. Cool overnight lows. If you're a camper, this is your weekend. Hey, if you're getting married this weekend too, this is your weekend. Beautiful weather there. We'll track a few more storms coming our way next week. And we'll follow that morning drive. There are some wrecks out there this morning due to the rain coming in back after this. I wanted to get you as close as possible. A surprise move for Senate Republicans. This is the statement released by North Korea. Original reporting every morning on CBS This Morning. Before you buy elsewhere, take advantage of Country Equipment's low price of 22.5 and no money down, 0% 60-month financing on this Kubota L3301 tractor package with implements. At Country Equipment, we have the Kubota tractor to get the job done.
Oklahoma Countertops and Flooring has the state's largest and most unique selection of granite and quartz countertops and wood plank tile. Our spacious 17,000 square foot showroom and large samples afford you the luxury of really seeing how your choices work together. 100% lifetime guarantee on all installations. Whether it's granite, quartz, tile, sinks, faucets, carpet, or wood flooring, Oklahoma Countertops and Flooring is your one-stop shop for all your interior surface needs. At Haunt Appliance, put us to the test is not just our tagline. It's truly the way we run our business. Whether it's the largest display of appliances in Oklahoma, our electronic price tags that update hourly based off competition, and our Haunt put us to the test kiosk so you can shop the competition right here in the store. And our huge on-hand inventory for you do-it-yourselfers. We know you have options when it comes to purchasing an appliance, and we'd love the opportunity to earn your business. So come see us and put us to the test. Fowler Honda, please hold. Fowler Honda, please hold. Fowler Honda, this spring, get monumental savings on over 500 Hondas. Your President's Award winner seven years in a row, given to the top dealers in the country. New 2018 Civics, $189 per month, and get 0.9% financing. And get huge savings on the all-new 2018 Honda Accord. It's the monumental savings event. Get here. Fowler, Fowler, Fowler Honda. Yeah. On June 20th, 2015, an illegal immigrant kicked out of the country three times killed beloved sportscaster Bob Berry Jr. Enough! Oklahoma is in a budget crisis, yet illegal immigrants cost taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars every year, and it's only getting worse. As Governor, Gary Richardson will help President Trump fight illegal immigration by auditing every state agency and blocking tax dollars being spent on illegal immigrants. This must end now. Archery Traditions is one of a kind in Oklahoma, with a range and shop like no others in the state, and opportunities for everyone to learn and improve. Archery Traditions provides the best. Family owned, family operated, and family friendly. We are Archery Traditions. Mother's Day is right around the corner. Capture those unforgettable mom moments for a chance to win a Canon prize package from Bedford Camera and Video. Submit a picture of you and your kids or the mom in your life to news9.com slash mom to enter. The Kubota L2501 tractor is designed for everyday comfort and easy to use implements. Your low price at Country Equipment is just $19.5. No money down, 0%, 60-month financing is available. Kubota at Country Equipment, the only choice. This traffic alert is brought to you by P&K Equipment. It's never been more affordable to own a John Deere. Discover the ultimate John Deere experience at P&K Equipment. All right, we're closing in on 7 o'clock. I tell you what, uh, the morning drive getting a little tricky out there. You can see our shot. We have rain moving in the metro. There on the left side, the bottom box uh, wreck. It's non-injury, but it's affecting traffic at I-44 and I-40. One person has been taken to the hospital. We'll keep you up to date on that. Severe storms tore through the state yesterday. Starting in southwest Oklahoma, a tornado touched down near Amber, tearing off a roof to a carport and a chicken coop. Everyone in the home made it, sa made it out safely, but uh, several of those chickens died. Closer to the metro, a Midwest City home was damaged by an uprooted tree. The homeowner says she was folding clothing and doing laundry when that happened. We're also seeing quite a few pictures sent in from viewers. A lot of hailstones out there. Also some flooding in the Lone Wolf area and uh, some lightning. It was a big lightning show out there. There's that flooding photo, as you can see. Some folks were in the uh, storm cellar last night. Jed doing homework because oh, those yeah. storms were moving on through. We've got more this morning. Yeah, got uh, just some rain out there this morning. There's a little lightning mixed in. No severe weather in the metro. That's just some general type rain, but it's going to cause some problems on the roads. Watch it out there. Grab the umbrella. Rain and storms moving out. Beautiful weather headed our way. All right, we'll have updates starting at 725. Stay with us. Make it a good one. Here's a chance to win another great prize from News 9 and Level Up Foundation Repair. Frontier City's now open weekends. Text the word COASTER to 79640 for a chance to win a pair of tickets. Stay tuned for more chances to win from News 9 and Level Up Foundation Repair. Because standing water is only fun for the kids. Yeah. Level up foundation and drainage repair. Remember your first bike? No, your first real bike. So can you imagine the feeling you'll get from your first real truck? The GMC Sierra.
Step up to GMC with nearly 10,300 total value on a specially equipped Sierra Denali when you finance through GM Financial. We are professional grade GMC. We know there's a lot of other cleaning companies to choose from. Not for me. I've tried those other guys. They just don't clean my home the way these guys do. That's because they don't have our equipment. We make ours right here in the USA. And our cleaning solution meets rigorous EPA Safer Choice standards with no harmful residue left behind. That's why I call. Carpet cleaning only $33 per room. Call 1-800-STEAMER. Stanley Steamer, just certified cleaner. Papa Murphy's presents Fresh. Fresh means scratch-made dough. Just chopped veggies and cheese grated by us daily. Fresh means serving it hot from your own oven. Yum! Home bake a large taco grande pizza. Just $10. Papa Murphy's. Hi, I'm Thomas. When my dad tells me to mow the yard, the Cub Cadet Zero Turn Lawn Mower helps me get the job done fast. He found it here at Metzler Turf. Zero turn steering, push button start, even Bluetooth capability. So easy anyone can do it. There's nothing quite like it. Get the most beautiful cut fast with the Cub Cadet Zero Turn Lawn Mower. When you need to mow, you know where to go. Metzler Turf, I-35 and Indian Hills Road in North. The new rug gallery at Bob Mills is the only one with two rug specialists like Simon and Stefan with over 50 years combined experience. They make you feel really confident about your purchase. These are all handmade, hand knotted rugs. The colors and designs are simply beautiful. Not $3,000, because I'm a direct import of these 8x10 handmade, hand knotted rugs starting at just $14.94. Come visit with Stefan and Simon at the new Bob Mills Rug Gallery. I just picked up the cake for the baby shower. You know she's having a boy, right? Need to make a quick switch? We thought about that. Joe! Need a little more room? We thought about that. Hold on, Joe's texting me. Need to stay connected. You have a message from Joe. We even gave that a thought, today. too. Buick Encore and Buick Envision. Part of Buick's three SUV lineup. Get this low mileage lease on this 2018 Buick Encore for around $199 per month. Or get $4,000 purchase allowance when you finance through GM Financial. You have FOMAS. Fear of missing out on smoked sausage. But fear not. Dunkin' Smoked Sausage Breakfast Sandwich is here. With a savory smokehouse flavor, it can put an end to FOMAS. Mullen Plumbing, the Red Rooter. Thursday, May 3rd, 2018. Welcome to CBS This Morning. President Trump's lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, contradicts the president by revealing Mr. Trump actually paid back the attorney who gave Stormy Daniels $130,000. Daniels' attorney, Michael Avenatti, will be in Studio 57 to respond to that. Severe weather threatens at least 40 million people today after more tornadoes raced across the central U.S. We're outside Kansas City, where big storms caused heavy damage. The crash of a military plane built more than 60 years ago kills nine National Guard members in Georgia. The aircraft was on its final flight to retirement. Plus, hundreds of people respond to our story on outbreaks of a rare eye cancer, saying they're dealing with it too. And we'll take you to a surfer's paradise more than 100 miles from.